Well, Tom, uh, you, your team takes a couple of weeks off and now gets back in the pool. So what do you expect from a, a well-rested Cougar team? Well, I don't, you know, we're looking. We go back uh, to this meet in December. It's, a, it's an opportunity for us to – we're working hard, but we're going to put the fast suits on just to – kind of give them, throw something different in the season, you know, a 20, 26 week season, actually 27 week season this year is kind of long, so this gives them a little break halfway through the uh, season, lets them kind of see where they're at, what they need to work on, when we put the fast suits on, it, it changes their mentality, so now I can see them at a higher level, and to see what mistakes or what, what bonuses, you know, maybe, hey, this is something that we haven't seen before, and, and we can capitalize on that, so it's, uh, you know, this time of the season, especially this meet, it's a real education meet, I want to find out kids need to work on, what they're good at, uh, and this is a good opportunity for that. You take a, a step away from the dual meets in, uh, where you guys have had some success this year. When you go to a meet like this, is it, is it more about racing as an individual, for lack of a better term, and trying to improve yourself and your times? Uh, I think, yeah, maybe. I, I think this is more of a prelim finals. That's probably the biggest, uh, you know, yeah, of course the individual, but you have that prelim final race, and that, you know, you can't really, you need to train for that. We go to our championship meet, we got to swim the same event in the morning and the afternoon, which is obviously pretty standard. Uh, but with the dual meet, it's a different mentality. So this allows us to get in that mentality. And uh, I think the team likes it. You know, it's uh, it's interesting when, you know, a dual meet, there's that tension for an hour and a half, and then, it, then it's over. Here, it's a whole week process, and it really... Uh, it, you get to learn a lot about your team, you know, as they, as the dynamics of your team and how they interact. You learn again. It's you know what we have, what's going for us, and what we need to work on. And then you'll take a little bit of a break, and, and whether that's good or bad, I'll let you talk about that. But just a little bit of a break after this meet until you kind of pick it up again down the road. Yeah, we got come back. We got dead week and finals week, so it's a great natural break, and that's why we like doing this meet too. It, it, right before it gets tough with dead week and finals week, we get to travel, we get to swim fast. Uh, and then they get a little break to, to be students and to finish up their semester. Uh, and then we take the pressure off uh, physically uh, and emotionally as far as the demand on the swimming. Uh, but we still keep them in shape. You know, that's that's the cool thing about this Cougar team. They, they love being in shape. They love working hard. Uh, it's very hard for me to work them to the point where I, I knock them out, you know, and that's what that's the game between the coaches and the swimmers, right? I'm trying to work them so hard that they say no more. No it's pretty hard to get these guys to, to say no moss, and so it, it actually leads it to my coaching ability where I can knock them out and, you know, point of no return. I don't want to kill them. We're only going to try to kill them a little bit. <laughs> and then, uh, just a, an opportunity to travel out of the region and maybe see some swimmers that you otherwise wouldn't see has got to be a, a nice change of pace for your team. It is fresh. You know, you get up in the Northwest, you swim a lot of the same teams, you know, year after year, same, you know, we swim this, our dual meet schedule hasn't swam and we, or hasn't changed in I don't know how many years. So, uh, it is good to go back Midwest. We swim against Michigan, Notre Dame, Milwaukee, uh, Denver. So we get a lot of schools that we don't necessarily see. And uh, in swimming, you know, that's that's a good thing, right? A lot of these kids grow up in the region. They swim against the same kids. So it's that same phenomenon. They get to swim against kids they've never heard of. Uh, and it's funner. And it's uh, actually it takes a little pressure off, right? It's that same kid. Oh, that kid beats me on the last wall or whatever, right? And uh, here they don't know what happens. So maybe they beat them on the last wall. All right, well, best of luck, and uh, thanks for the time, Tom. All right, thank you.